Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a kind of like a one brand makeup tutorial because I don't think I've ever done one of these so I really wanted to do one and for some reason I just know that I wanted it to be Maybelline. Um, I actually didn't have that many Maybelline products so I had to go out and I had to buy some because I wanted some like extra stuff. So I think I used like maybe like two or three things in this video that are not Maybelline. So it's really hard to do like all one brand. It's really, really hard to do that. So my brows are how I always do them. So they're not Maybelline. And my setting powder is not Maybelline. But everything else in this video is Maybelline. So um, I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys are Maybelline lovers. So you guys already have this in your stash already and your makeup kit or whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, I'm just going to get right into the video. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, so I already have a crease color. You can use any brown. Um, Maybelline just didn't have like a nice brown that fit me. So um, now I'm using the City Mini palette. And this palette is called Rooftop Bronzes. And um, I'm first going to use that lighter color on the top that I'm pointing out right there. So that color is going to go on my lid. And I really like this color because it was like such a sparkly, like kind of like see-through shimmer so i love that it was so pretty and it was like nice and light like i can't explain the texture but the texture was like very different it was light kind of like a see-through kind of eyeshadow do you get what i'm saying but um yeah I, so i love this i loved this shadow so much and um it lasts it's lasting really well too so i'm just putting that on my lid as you could see nothing too crazy going on here and then I'm going to go on to that darker bronze that I'm pointing at right there. And I'm going to put this in my crease just to create like a little bit of depth and a little bit of um, more kind of smokiness. And um, I was worried about using so many shimmers on the top, like using a lid um, shimmer and then a crease shimmer. But it actually doesn't look that bad. And it did exactly what I wanted it to do, was, which is just like make it a little bit more bronzy so um yeah so it was really beautiful and then now i'm gonna use the maybelline studio um gel liner and i love this liner so much i always use this liner i always switch between this gel liner and the l'oreal gel eyeliner either one is good but i really like this one and i had just purchased this one so this was like brand new it was the first time i was using it and i was like oh my god how did i ever leave this alone it just goes on so smooth it's so black it is just like absolute like perfection so if you need a good um eyeliner gel you should pick this one up and try it because i think you might really like it and then i'm just going to take some of my lid color and put it in my inner corner just for a little shimmer then I'm going to take this City Mini palette, which is called Graffiti Pop, and I'm going to mix the blue and the purple together and use it on my lower lash line just for like a little pop of color. And I thought it looked really cute, so if you want to, you could definitely try that and just use a pop of color under. And now I am working on skin, so I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And I wear the color 330 right now. It's called Toffee. And, um, yeah, I got really tan. I went to the beach, like, just yesterday, so I'm super tan. I had to buy this today, so match me because my other one is, like, too light. So I'm just putting that all over my face, and I really like this foundation. I think it looks really pretty on, especially for the price. It's so good. And, um, I know this is, like, loved by a lot of people. This is definitely, like, a fave of a lot of people. So I had to try this out, and I love it so much. I love that it's a dewy. I love how it makes my skin look, so it's just perfect. And then after I get that all over, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me as well Medium Concealer. So this is called like the number like 25 Medium, I think. So it's a little light for me right now because like I said, I've gotten really tan. So now this is like a little bit too light, but it works. I can, I can mix it and make it work. So that's exactly what I did here. I'm just putting it all over my face and make sure it's all rubbed in. But I love this formula as well, just as I love the Fit Me foundation. So I think these are like so bomb together. I'm so glad that I decided to buy them and like get into it because they're so good. Like I cannot do it without them. And now I'm just popping on a lash and I'm using House of Lashes um, Iconic Light Lashes. These lashes are so pretty. I love them and I love House of Lashes. So I always love using these. They're just like the perfect fit like they're not too too heavy and they're not too light like you see them they're fluffy enough they're not too stiff i hate lashes that are super stiff that's so annoying and of course i'm going to cover that lash glue as always so make sure you always do that don't ever forget that step don't be ratchet 
So then I'm going to use the Master Fairy Highlight, also by Maybelline, and it looks very interesting in the packaging. So yeah, um, kind of looks like cotton candy. It's like really cute. And um, this is definitely something, if you want like a bland highlight, you definitely need to layer this. So I put like so many layers, so many layers, and um, I sprayed on top of it like a couple times, like maybe three times. And if you guys watched my highlighter video, you would know why I do that. And then for lipstick, I'm also using a Maybelline lipstick. It's like a brown. And it is called Raw Chocolate. And it says the number 560 on it. I don't know what that means, but I know that it's called Raw Chocolate. And it's a matte one. So it's really pretty. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. And it's the yellow one, obviously. So I love this one. This is my favorite, favorite mascara always. So after I did this, my look was basically complete. So this is how it came out. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.